This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at electrophilic addition reactions. The carbon to carbon double bond in an alkene has a region of high electron density above and below the plane of the molecule. So here we have a carbon to carbon double bond. As you can see, it's composed of one sigma bond and one pi bond. The pi bond is the region of electron density above and below the plane of the molecule. Because of this high electron density, the pi bond is attractive to electrophiles, which are species that are electron deficient. Here we have an example of an electrophilic addition reaction between ethene and hydrogen bromide to form bromoethane. As you can see, the carbon to carbon double bond opens up and the hydrogen and bromine atoms bond to the carbon atoms. So next we look at the mechanism of the reaction. Because of the difference in electronegativity between hydrogen and bromine, hydrogen bromide is a polar molecule. The bromine atom has a negative dipole and the hydrogen atom has a positive dipole. Because of the positive dipole on the hydrogen atom, it's attracted to the high electron density of the carbon to carbon double bond. Next, the hydrogen to bromine bond breaks heterolytically forming a bromide ion. At the same time, the hydrogen atom bonds to one of the carbon atoms, forming a carbocation. Next, the bromide ion uses its lone pair of electrons to form a bond with this carbon atom. And finally, we have a product which is bromoethane. Next, we look at the mechanism for the reaction between ethene and bromine to form 1,2-dibromoethane. The bromine molecule is easily polarizable. When it approaches the carbon to carbon double bond, which has a high electron density, it acquires an induced dipole. This end of the molecule has a positive dipole, and this end of the molecule has a negative dipole. The positive end of the bromine molecule is attracted to the high electron density of the carbon to carbon double bond. The bromine molecule breaks heterolytically, forming the bromonium ion and the bromide ion. The bromonium ion bonds to one of the carbon atoms, forming a carbocation intermediate. The carbocation then combines with a negative bromide ion, forming 1,2-dibromoethane. And finally, we'll have a look at the equations for the reactions. Here we have the reaction of ethene with hydrogen bromide to form bromoethane. And here we have the reaction of ethene with bromine to form 1,2-dibromoethane. 